Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. The channel is Gail Chanel's 40s World. Check it out. I'm back. Okay. Found another story I want to talk about, y'all. And it's my reread. Oh, it's my reread. Are we the Franklin girls and gents? Okay. I thought everything was smooth sailing, honey. But now it's like I got to sing one of her songs or well, one of her remakes of somebody else's song. Still water runs deep. Yes, it Oh, yes. Still waters run deep. The best they do. I know that. Oh, yes. Yay. Don't trouble the waters. Leave it alone. Why don't you? Why don't you? Let it be, hey, still waters run deep, yes it do, I know that, oh yes, Woo child, oh, I just tell you, it just caught, my, just caught me all off guard, I was like, oh my goodness, that's why you have to give your flowers, your roses, your, your, any type of craziness of materialistic stuff. Go on and give it to the folk when they living. Go on and give it to them while they living. And when you dead and gone, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I gave you all your flowers when you were living and all your materialistic things that I want you to have. I gave it to you before I took my last breath. Because the government just don't be playing with you, okay? These taxes, these liens, these back taxes, they be coming after you, okay? But anyway, let's go on to this article that uh, NPR.org wrote on her, okay, Anastasia, uh, look like T. Lucas, I'm gonna say, but anyway, look it up, okay, she got a hard to pronounce last name, okay, but we moving on, it's music news, entertainment news, okay, it says, the headline reads, three wheels found at Aretha Franklin's home, now, who, who did the wheels, y'all, who hid the wheels? Well, it wasn't no good darn children. Who was it? Who was it? Was it Clyde Davis? Was it some entertainment lawyer? What was going on? But let's read. Let's read what it says. Title again, Three Wheels Found at Aretha Franklin's Home. Okay. This article was put out May 21st, which is today. Okay. Around 12.08 p.m. All right. That must have been early this afternoon. Okay. If they don't issue standard time. All right, it says, when the Queen of Soul died last August, family and lawyers said publicly that they believed that Aretha Franklin did not have a will. On Monday, however, three handwritten wheels that had been found in her Detroit area home, one from 2014 and the two dated, and two dated 2010, were filed in probate court in Oakland County, Michigan. Okay, two, three. Y'all, three counting. All right, according to the filing which NPR has reviewed, the March 2014 will was located inside a spiral notebook under under couch cushions in her living room. Blah, but Rita Franklin, but she lived in kind of incognito, but she was kind of losing her mind called a doggone spiral notebook. Could we have done it a little bit more legalized, you know, form of paper and all that drawn up with the lawyers? Okay, because I know she hung around a few. I don't understand that, but anyway, we're going to move on. That was my commentary, all right? Yes, yeah, found under couch cushions in her living room. Some of the four-page document is nearly illegible, okay? And it is full of cross-outs and notes added to the margins, the two 2010 wheels were found in a locked cabinet. David Bennett, Franklin's attorney of more than four decades. Let's see what I'm saying. Her attorney. Why is she going around here writing stuff on a spiral notebook? She must be having some little memory loss or something. Oh, little Alzheimer's. Dementia going on. Okay. Better check the right. Do the handwriting samples. Whoever is doing this. Because there might be some forgery going on with them kids. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some other relative nieces, nephews. Dogs, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Give them a little paw, put the pen in it, paper, and a pencil. You can do you can do some amazing things, okay? That was my commentary, not in this latest article. Okay. 
Then we go and say David Bennett's Franklin's attorney of more than four decades. Y'all, that's 40 years. And she's sitting up here going right on the spiral notebook. I can't believe it. I won't believe it. Woo! Anyway, has asked the court to rule whether the three wills are valid under Michigan law. Franklin's niece, Sabrina Owens, you better watch her, better watch her. Okay, remains the personal representative for the state for the long time being. In a statement to the AP, Owens said that she remains neutral and wishes that all parties involved make wise choices on behalf of their mother. Okay, her rich legacy, the family, and the Aretha Franklin's estate. In April, poor probate court judge Jennifer Callahan, Callahan uh, approved a plan to hire experts who could appraise Franklin's assets and personal belongings, ranging from concert outfits and memorabilia to household items. After Franklin's death, the estate paid at least $3 million in back taxes to the IRS. Okay, the Internal Revenue Service, if you didn't know what their initials meant, I'm telling you now, okay, pay your taxes because they come. They come in the night for you, all right? Leave you homeless. Leave you nothing but your uh, well, ass out, butt cheeks and all that. Like you coming in like a newborn baby. Nothing. Okay, we'll leave you high and dry. Okay. Anyway, my commentary, not in this latest article. Uh, But doggone. But I know your attorneys ain't paying taxes this way getting me. And then she had a lawyer of 40 years on her payroll. And she, he didn't make sure her taxes were being paid. It's ridiculous. Now her, Aretha, I always used to like to get her money up. Front. I mean, cash, the do re me. okay, the greenbacks, she didn't like checks and all that kind of thing, like, nah, give me my money, cash, I got a little ball in my car, and we're gonna roll like that, okay, I need my money, cash, all right, so anyway, um, she owes three million in back taxes to the IRS in December, the IRS filed a claim against the state for more than six million, oh my god, six million, a hearing on Franklin's estate is scheduled for June 12th of this year. Okay, guys, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Get, if you're going to give some money away or you're trying to hide your assets or whatever, don't hide. You're going to give them to whoever you want to tax-free, okay? So when you die, ain't nobody getting nothing. You came in with that, you leave with that. So they ain't nobody getting nothing when, you, when your uh, breath leave out your body, your spirit go back to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, I can't stand it. I always try to give something up. To somebody else. I'm like, that's a bunch of booty. Uh-uh, no. Can't do it. Then somebody on BBC wrote on Rita Franklin's tip. Uh, everybody getting the news. So everybody trying to get a little comeback here. A little story on her. You know, of course, we know she died of pancreatic cancer. And all the family members said at the time that she had left. No, we are. Well, surprise, surprise. It was under her, uh, her sofa cushion. Did anybody try to check throughout the house? Did anybody try to check throughout the house? Or was everybody getting blazingly drunk? Okay, tossing it up. Pouring it out for the homie. Okay, what, what were they doing? What, what? I would have been looking under everything. Trying to find loose change, loose bills, something. Okay? But, hey, that's just me. But then they wrote uh, also the BBC. Uh, three documents were found earlier this month. Two from 2010 were recovered from a locked cabinet after a key was located. Now, what is there a thing getting locked up in the house for? Shouldn't everybody, shouldn't everybody been not locked up? I mean, my goodness, the lady done died since last August. Y'all didn't try to do nothing in her house? No clean up? No nothing? Oh, my goodness. Okay. On dated March 2004, was hidden on the living room cushions. A lawyer for the Franklin State said, no, that's some kind of mess right there. That's a hot freaking mess. Okay. Oh, see, again, it says uh, some of her wheel notes were written inside a spiral notebook. Appears to leave her assets to her family, said the lawyer, David Bennett. Okay. All right, then. Some of the writing is very hard to decipher, and the four pages have... Words scratched out in phrases written in the margins, okay? All right, okay, all right. He added that the wheels have been shared with Franklin's four sons or their lawyers, but they have not reached a deal on whether any of them should be considered as valid. I'm like, man, is she breaking y'all off? You might well go on and consider them that, uh, valid. I mean, come on. I mean, everybody just want, what, 20, 30, 60, 80? You know, come on, we'll spin it 50 50. Don't be greedy now, your mama gone. I made no doggone sense. 
But um, it says Mr. Franklin is currently objecting to plans to sell a piece of land next to his mother's Oakland County home for three hundred twenty-five thousand. Aretha Franklin was one of the most celebrated soul vocalists of the sixties and seventies. Oh yes, she was. Oh yes, she was. Okay, but that don't make no doggone sense. This lady been dead since last year, and y'all just coming like a year almost, because we almost sliding out of May, going into June. And y'all sitting up here two days, I mean two months shy of her eve of her death, and y'all gonna sit here and find some some uh papers. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? Y'all should have been tying up that house before y'all laid her to rest, okay? Finding something. But anyway, y'all don't let the kid out the bed. Now the rest gonna be all on y'all like white on rice. They're gonna take what they're gonna get, and then they're gonna leave you whatever's left. But hey. Woo, to each his own, to each his own. But Lord, I miss myself some Aretha Franklin. Yes. But huh, to be absent from us is to be present with the Lord. So she's in good hands. Yes. You better think, 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 think what you're trying to do to me. Yeah. Think, think, think. I'm going to let yourself be free. Oh, freedom. 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 Oh, freedom! Da, da, da. Hey, what is that? Trying to do to me, say I want you. Don't tell me right now. Oh, oh, oh. hey, should be so. Can I know? Should be so. What I be saying, y'all? <laughs> I'm drinking some Sigrun's cool coolers. Uh, what do you call it? The classic lime margarita. Y'all need to pick y'all up some, cause it's good. Okay, it's good. But I tried that peach bellini that. Cynthia Bailey from the Real Housewives of Atlanta got her signature drink with cigarettes. Honey, huh? they go, mm mm. Uh uh. That's some nasty tasting stuff. I'm like, no, nah, baby. I don't know what your taste buds was into when you try to mix them ingredients to make you a little signature drink for them. But it was flat out too salty for me. I was like, yeah, where can I spit this stuff out? It was terrible. Terrible. The ones that I like from Seagram's are signature ones. They've been around forever. Bahama Mama, uh, what do you call it? The strawberry daiquiri one. And it's another one I can't think of. It. And this new one I just tried. It's called the Classic Lime Margarita. The best. The best. But I did got me a, a, a full pack of her signature drink, thinking I'm going to have a good time and all that. And I had to like, oh, I had to pull one of them out. I gave the other two to my daughter and her boyfriend, and they spit it out too. So I, it, I you know, I was like, try it. I didn't want to give y'all my opinion to y'all try it, so I won't seem like I'm being biased. Like I just don't like her or whatever. But uh, it was horrible, horrible. But uh, hey, I purchased it with my own little money, so I gave her a four dollars and what is it, twenty something cent. And that's all I can do for Miss Cynthia Baylor, honey, because that, that was a hot mess. Oh, but anyway, moving on. Thank you for uh, coming to my channel. Yes, and um, hope y'all enjoyed my uh, feature presentation on Miss Aretha Franklin, how they cutting up. They trying to take her money, but Lord, she she what she need no money, honey. She don't need no money. Just be praising the Lord. Praising the Lord. Yes, all day, every day. Okay. But anyway, that's all I have for y'all. Talk to y'all soon for something else. I don't know what that would be, but it is what it is, right? Peace and blessings. Good night.